Hey guys, Nika Banana. I miss you. I miss interacting with you. I miss uploading for you guys. And hopefully you'll be watching this video and giving me a thumbs up. And also I would love to see you guys in the comment section. So before we go on, for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm going to be talking about random things. That's what we do in this channel. I like to cover topics that most people won't cover. I like to um, talk about those taboo topics as well, but we know YouTube has become sort of a a very censored area so we have to be very careful uh, with how we say things but first comes first right you guys asked for a body update and I have been basically doing the same uh, workout some cardio and I have started doing weights like two weeks ago and it's weird because when you're eating the right foods and you're moving your body you notice it changes very quickly and I feel like a lot of people have this weird mentality about vegans that you're going to age uh, terribly, you're gonna lose your hair, you're gonna lose libido, you're gonna uh, be like this anorexic person. It's like, no, I'm I'm perfectly healthy, my body is perfectly fine, I'm, very, I'm pretty slim, but not dying, not anorexic, not underweight at all. So I always love to give you guys a body update and I am wearing um, this shirt that one of the viewers, whoops, that's my hair, uh, one of my viewers got for me many years ago, so it says no bacon. And there's a little side view right there. Yes, I'm still in my work clothes, so. There. So you guys got a little, a quick, a quick update. Um, pretty much look the same. And yeah. So let's get on with this. I've been wanting to talk about this topic because I've noticed it a lot in the comment section. A lot of angry men that feel like that I am attacking them. And this immediately says something about these men. If you're watching this video and you feel attacked, it is not because I am attacking you. It is because you feel that you are lacking something. Um, so work on yourself. Now, I have been wanting to to cover this because there was a, a couple guys who asked me what I wanted. What, what was the first thing I looked for in a man? And I said financial stability. And the crowd went wild, right? Like I started getting all these... Um, Oh, I don't want to say attacks, just people that were very upset that were like, that's so fucked up. You're so materialistic. That's all women ever care about. And it's like, well, that's not all I care about, but it's definitely one of, of the important priorities. And it's not because all I care about is the money, but I feel that if you as a male in America cannot provide for yourself and you are in a uh, financial situation where you can't take care of yourself, how do you expect to take care of a woman and children on top of that so yes that is the first thing that i look at and that is not the most um that is not the only thing but for me personally it is the most important if a man um does not have financial stability then to me he's i don't want to know anything about him okay um and and that may may seem a little bit messed up but think about it Men do the same thing when it comes to women. They always look for a female who, who looks really good, right? Who's really sexy, really attractive. And if she doesn't have that, they'll move on to the next. And I'm not talking about just a one night thing. I'm talking about somebody when you're looking down to settle. So men want an attractive female and that is not bad either. So what I'm trying to say is that wanting these things as a female and wanting these things as a man, wanting a beautiful, sexy woman who's fit, who's attractive, who has energy, who has great skin and hair, that's not a bad thing either. It doesn't make you um, shallow as a man and it doesn't make you shallow as a woman. And you have to understand that these are very uh, instinctive things that we want as humans and not only humans, if you look in the animal kingdom, Animals do this as well. Um, certain birds and animals will not mate, the females will not mate um, until they find a man who can provide, who has the biggest nest, right? Who can collect the biggest stones, who brings more food to her. So it is a way for females to provide security, not only for herself, but for possible generations. And the same thing uh, when, I, when I, we turn it around, right? Men don't just want women um, for their looks. I mean, yes, yes and no, but it also comes down, it comes down to instinct and hormones. And the reason why men are attracted to beautiful fit women versus you know, an obese woman or an, or an anorexic woman is because it is a sign of health, it is a sign of um, normal, normal hormonal levels, including estrogen, 
um, estradiol, estrogen, estrone, and progesterone. So when you see a beautiful woman who looks amazing, who has great skin, who just glows, who's in a good mood, and you're attracted to that, it is not because you're a shallow man. It's not because you're a shallow hell. It is because you, your body, you naturally gravitate to that because it's saying your brain and your body recognize that those are signs of health. And just because you want a beautiful woman and because men want or women want men with resources and that means uh, financial stability in this time and age, that is not a bad thing. So chill the fuck out. If you find that this is, you know, that this is a bad thing, then I can't change your mind, but know that this is how it has worked for eons and it will continue to work for eons. And I know some of you will say, especially a lot of men, they're like, well, I don't care about what she looks like. It's like, all right, if I gave you a girl who, you know, small waist, nice body, um, I'm not gonna go into details because there's a broad range of what different men uh, find attractive in a female, but imagine your version of a healthy female, right? Would you take that or would you rather take somebody who was like a thousand pounds or, or 60 pounds? right? You're not really attracted to that. And there are some outliers out there because some people have weird fetishes, right? But I'm talking about the majority of the human population. It is a very rare to find those people. Most people are going to naturally gravitate toward the most attractive um, female. So that's just me spinning it around so that you see it in the way um, the things actually are. And there are some women out there, there are some feminists out there, and I'm, I don't wanna say I'm anti-feminist, but I'm definitely not pro-feminist. And feminist, the, the type of feminist that say that, I don't need no man, you know, and then later come to me and harass me because they can't get men, and they're asking for tips and tricks, and it's like, well, you don't need a man, right? And you really don't, because these feminists are doing the job they're they're filling these roles that naturally men would do right naturally men would provide and protect but if you're a female bringing in all the money and you know you're his you're his sugar mama uh you're gonna have issues from both ends i've seen this hundreds of times i've seen this um from i you see it all over the world really right now i i know a couple and the, the man is working a part-time job, right? He's making like 10 bucks an hour, which is not a lot where, where I live in. That's nothing. It's basically minimum wage. And the woman is making four times more that an hour. And I see it. He is unhappy at work. He is stressed. He's always moody. Why do you think that is? I, I'm really curious to know why do you think that is when before he was working, you know, a top job bringing in the bank. Why do you think all of a sudden he feels like shit? because she is the head of the household now. Those roles have reversed and now he doesn't feel so hot. And a man is never going to feel at the top of his game when his woman is bringing in the revenue, when she's paying all the bills, when she's paying for dinners. A man doesn't feel masculine, okay? So I understand that some of my viewers are very young, you know, you're 18, 20 years old and you've never really experienced life in general. You don't count. You need to experience the life first because you know nothing yet. And I don't come um, saying this from a condescending point of view. I'm coming from experience and watching the world and reading a lot of books and taking psychology classes and knowing how the male brain works and knowing how the female brain works. So I would love to see your guys' comments in my section down below. Let me know how do you think you would actually feel if the man was, or if your wife or your girlfriend was the one with the money, making the big bucks. Be honest, because I have a lot of men that say, well, I would love it. But when they're actually put in the situation, turns out they don't like it so much. Turns out their libido is down the drain. Turn, uh, is gone. Turns turns um, out that they feel like they are no longer needed because now they are not for fulfilling that natural testosterone driven role of protecting and providing for a female. So I would be very curious to know what you guys think about this topic down below. I'll see you guys down in the comment section.
Peace. Beso, beso.